Hi, welcome to the Red Lion Training Series by Automation Technologies for PLCMentor.com. In this video, we will use the Red Lion G3 interface to develop a chemical reactor. Let's begin with a clear workspace. So we'll go to User Interface. We'll go up to Page and create a new one. Now from there we can click on our development area and it will bring up a toolbox again. And the first object we'll create, we'll go down to our Image tool, draw it on the screen, and pick an image from our symbol library. And we'll start building our reactor by selecting a tank image. Let's select tank 17. OK. And let's resize that to make that the main element of our screen. Now let's also rename this page Reactor. For reference so we can keep up. And now we're ready to add some features. Let's make a way to display our tank level. So we'll bring up our toolbar. We'll select a simple vertical bar. We'll draw that right over the top of our tank. Now we need to assign that a tag. So we'll bring up the properties of it and the control value. We'll select tank level. Now this is a integer tag that I created previously and assigned a script to so we can simulate our tank filling. Let's also change the fill format while we're in here. Our tank's gray, so we want something that contrasts a little better with that. So we'll change this to yellow, and we'll also select a fill style mixture, 50% since we are mixing stuff in our reactor. So we'll select OK there. And now, we still need a way to navigate to this new screen we've created. So let's go up to our page menu panel, select whole panel, and we'll select our third function button. We'll assign soft key three all pages to go to page reactor. OK. We'll go back in our panel menu and go to display only. Now we can go ahead and test this out and see if our vertical bar is working correctly and my script is uh, incrementing the value of tank level. Let's we'll see if our new navigation button works right and it does and we also have our tank filling now. So let's go back to our development window and now we need to add some valves and some piping to bring in our product into and out of our process. Thank you for viewing this video on the Red Lion training series. This video has been produced by Automation Technologies for the PLCMentor.com training.